Heads up. Sprinting from the 1,000 metre marker, Capriona and Magically, the first two to hit the poly running. Danya secures the rails position. New Orleans on the outside with the blinkers, only three lengths off at the eight peg, and a further three lengths back to Cape Diamond, who is detached. Capriona has a neck on magically. They're cutting out the speed. Dunya is in the slipstream and waiting in the wings as New Orleans on the outside. Homeward bound. First of the greys, Capriona and magically the pink headgear down the middle. Dunya's in hunt mode, so too New Orleans to the outside. Dunya's just going to come out for a run at the 300 meter marker. Magically, Dunya, New Orleans. Capriona's still right there on the inside. Any of these four could win over the last hundred. Capriona is fighting along the inside. Dania is now starting to put it together. New Orleans on the outside. New Orleans and Dania. Dania pulled it out the fire from New Orleans. Then came Capriona and Magically. Carbon copy of the last victory. Courageous, perfectly poised. Came out with New Orleans. Dania becomes a five-time winner. On the Paul Gatsby stable, will win about a head decision, a half a head. New Orleans second, Capriona magically. Now we'll just take a look at the head on because Danya was just looking for galloping room and was coming out. There you'll see Danya just looking for the gap there and then gets that gap to open. New Orleans on the outside and both of them an equal opportunity from the 300. Danya, pink cap. New Orleans is the grey. Dania finds that little bit extra. New Orleans, the last 100 metres, trying to get alongside. And the two of them going hammer and tong. But it's number nine, Dania. Back-to-back -back victories and holds New Orleans at bay. Back to the studio. Well, uh, trainer Paul Gatsby, just a one runner today. Well done to himself and his stable. And of course, uh, Mr. Morgan, governor as well. And I see that it is uh, Edenvale Investments, the breeders of this uh, mare, uh, Australian bred. And uh, Paul, just a one runner today. Firstly, you know, compliments on the way you got her going throughout her career, but more importantly of late because she's done you proud going back to back today. Yeah, she, um, we've always had good fun with this filly and um, she's had her little niggles on the way through when we've just nursed her and well done to the guys at home looking after her, especially Beth, you know, she gets bandaged all the time and um, she gets pampered. So yeah, and I think she's won her fifth race today. Yes. Well done to Morgan and Elizabeth Governor and thanks once again for the support uh, you give our stable. Uh, yeah, two in a row now for her. Um, I wasn't actually keen to run her here. Um, she, was, she wasn't that well drawn, and I said to them, okay, seven or less, I'll run. Then they phoned me, and they said, okay, eight. I said, okay, oh, let's go. Then she ended up nine, and then I thought, oh, just keep quiet and see what happens. And then with all the scratchings, it just shows you how it can pan out. Five. In our frame. Yeah, <laughs> five, yeah, five scratch, uh, in the end, yeah, another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, well done to Musi. I always forget to say uh, what a great rider he is, and he's done well for our stable. And he always listens and warms him up at the start and does the little things that we like to do. And yeah, thank you, Muzi. I don't see Morgan much at the races these days. How's he doing? Um, yeah, look, he's, um, last time I saw him, he was well. I saw him at the Durban sale. I haven't seen him since then. And yes. uh, yeah, but you know, they've been our yard a long time. And yeah, well done to Morgan. Pumzila, the groom, unfortunately couldn't make it. Give our best to him as well. He's 1,000 Rand Hollywoods in. Uh, Gold circle. Yeah, Pumzil is one of our uh, top grooms, and yeah, well done to Pumzil. He looks after very well, and I've got his one here. Okay, well done to Paul <laughs> and Mr. Puller. <laughs> oh, pusher. <laughs> okay, well done, Polly. Okay, Paul Gatsby and uh, Dunya. Muzieni, the winning rider, and he is here. And it ended up a small field uh, with all the scratchings and the late scratching as well, and it can be tactical. Uh, at one stage, it looked like it may go tight for you down the lane but you didn't panic and you managed to find a way through yes um, sounds it looks easier in the race <laughs> no it doesn't no. don't get me wrong <laughs> don't get me wrong I never said it was easy I said it looked difficult down the lane at one stage but you managed to get out yes uh, you know it was 
and looked I was hesitant between roll in, roll out, split second decision and you know normally the horses, the way you sweep coming to the straights, it normally favors you to roll out. Horses seem to have more momentum and it almost uh, put me in a really awkward spot where I could have lost the race. But uh, she was able to get out in, in time and I was able to get her balanced again and obviously took a little bit of a sting out of his of a finish trying to get out of that tight situation. But uh, she rallied back well. She never gave up. So well, full of merits from the horse. That option, I mean, you, you mentioned it's a split second. It could have been in or out. Yeah. And although Keegan was on your outside, you said, I'm still going out. Yeah, I thought uh, I could see they were dead coming to the straight, the first two horses, yes. trying to both have that, ha that fun running tactic. So they came back a bit quicker than I wanted to. And I was on top of heels at that time. So it's not like I uh, had ground. They just came back so quickly and I was on top of the heels. And I thought if I go in, I might just lose that momentum. So I decided to come out and go with Keegan, who looked like he was traveling the next best after me. So uh, thank goodness those just were able to get their legs together and f fight it out in time. Well, that's experience, my man. That is experience. Take nothing, uh, you know, we compliment the ride of Keegan as well. It could have gone either way, but well done. Now. How the balance of your ride is looking? Because you are a gentleman to follow. Uh, I think uh, Mr. Rivlin's was probably my next best uh, in the 1800. Must have, a, must have a big chance. Which one is that? Um, I think it's race five. I stand to be corrected, Mr. Yeah. Rivlin's. I'm only riding one for him. Okay, good one. And uh, how are things going thus far? We, we're coming to the end of the year, not the season. The year. How are things going? No, going exceptionally well. Obviously, Keegan's also beat. He's been, <laughs> riding, he's been riding exceptionally well. Alison Wright's been giving a lot of support. Yeah. So we just hope we can compete successfully. Well, you always put your name in the hat. You never know. You never know. Thank you. Well done to Mr. Morgan Pillay. Stand yeah. to be corrected, Mr. Pillay. Well done to Mr. Gasby and all the partners. I don't want to leave one out. Nice one. Thank you. Muzi Eni there in uh, race number two. Up next, it is the big one, which is the pick six. Race number three at 13.35. What's very interesting, I'd like to see which horse went off as the top one in the previous race with all those scratchings.